Hey everybody, this is Chris. Um, this is my first uh, video of this kind. What I'm going to be doing is taking three of the best security software programs and just seeing how they do against 10 malicious URLs that are listed on the <coughs> malware domain, domain list. Sorry if my voice is a little out of it. I'm recovering from a bad cold. Um, but what I have done is I took three programs from each of the main areas of computer security that you should have. <coughs> uh, for example, antivirus, I have a vast free antivirus. That's my main antivirus. For spyware and malware, I have the pro version of malware bytes. Malware bytes anti malware. It's I think it's like nineteen ninety five. For a lifetime subscription, while most are uh, annually annual subscriptions, and also I use Komodo Firewall again for a fantastic program. I've used it for years. It has Defense Plus, which acts as a form of HIPS Host Intrusion Prevention System, uh, which basically acts as a uh, a form of real time protection, but does not rely on signatures or definitions. It, it relies on behavior. It's called behavioral based technology. Uh, some of it can be kind of buggy. Some of the versions of HIPS can be kind of buggy. So like with uh, um, Spyware Terminator, their uh, form of HIPS kind of slows down your computer. At least it did when, when I used it. So anyway, I'm going to uh, use these three programs with an updated version of Windows. Windows 7 uh, Home Premium has all the latest updates and I'm going to go on their domain list and see how these three programs react to various malicious uh, URLs. Now I wouldn't advise you to try this at home unless you know what you're doing. Um, you could really mess yourself up so uh, I would just be very careful. But let's see what we got here. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Black hole exploit. I'm using the latest version of Firefox 16. Now, here, uh, what comes up? Want web of trust. So let's disable that. I forgot to do that. And let's see what it does then. It's possible that these aren't listed yet. These are new. And it's coming up blank here, so it pro something's probably blocked. Even though I don't have a notification yet. <clears throat> so we'll just uh, we'll just assume that that's nothing. Okay, let's try this one here. There we go. Been detected. Looks like Avast blocked it. I love Avast. I used to use Avira, but um, their latest, I just think Avast has more features. It's more user friendly. The detection rates are almost the same, they vary. Okay, let's try this one here. Another Threat one. has been detected. Usually in these situations, <clears throat> the antivirus is usually the first one to pop up. If not, sometimes the firewall like Komodo or malware bytes will kick in. It's very rare they all do it at the same time. When one takes care of it, the other one say, okay, you got it, good. Let's try this one. Now here's where uh, Firefox, web forgery. Let's see, ignore this word. There we go. Threat has been detected. Fire, Firefox got it first, and then Avast got it. So we're, I'll just skip that first one. <clears throat> just say we're three for three. Here's number four. Reported attack page. Okay, good going Firefox. Another Threat one. has been detected. Avast is four for four. Let's take this off. 
block reported attack sites. Let's take that off so we can just for now. So we're four for four. Let's see if we can go five for five. Let's see what this is. Malware bytes. Successfully blocked access to a potentially mal malicious website. Okay, so on that one, malware bytes took the initiative. As long as any of them do, it doesn't really matter. <coughs> okay, five for five. Let's try number six. Avast. This site has been marked as a phishing site. Get me the hell out of here. All right, let's let's try trust. Ignore this warning. Let's try ignore this warning. And see what happens. See, this is where either either Firefox or perhaps even my internet service provider. In this case, Time Warner is blocking it. They do do that sometimes. So either way, the way a vast popped up, it wasn't going anywhere. Okay, number seven. There we go. Threat has been detected. I love that voice. Threat has been detected. All right, number seven. Hot secret dot net. Hmm. Let's see. Been detected. Okay. Eight for eight. These are these are the newest ones. You can see the top one here just came out today. So these are new. This is why this is why it's so important to keep your security software updated. If it doesn't have the latest definitions and updates, then it, it won't be able to recognize when you go to somewhere. Or that you shouldn't. It's like it's like a police officer or investigator is looking for a criminal. If you don't know what they look like, there's no way you can recognize them. Similar idea. Threat has been detected. Threat has been detected. Okay. Number ten. Wikipedia store. Right. What shit do they want you to? Threat has been detected. Okay. So we're 10 for 10. Now, what would happen if I disabled Avast? Let's see. Let's see. Disable for 10 minutes. Disable until a computer is restarted. Okay. So Avast is disabled. Let's go back up the top to these URLs and see what happens when Avast is disabled. Will Komodo and Malware Bytes kick in? Number one. Firefox is blocking it. No, it actually isn't. It probably either Windows is blocking it. It's perhaps also that Malware Bytes did but didn't pop up. That does happen sometimes. There we go. There we go. Okay. Two for two. It's a phishing site. Well, I just well, I just dis I disabled the. <coughs> I guess not all the programs or the features of Avast are disabled. The shields, apparently. Not. Well, wait a minute. I do have the Avast. Uh, add-on web rep. That's what that was. It's possible that some of these four for four. That some of these will just go nowhere. Okay, malware bytes. Thank you. So even with malware bytes are uh, vast disabled, malware bytes. Are, see some of these, maybe even my internet service provider is uh, blocking. And also, it could be Firefox too. I am using a router as well with 
pretty good security configurations. That could have something to do with it as well. It also could be uh, Windows blocking it. If you have a patched, updated operating system, uh, it just helps it all the more. So many people don't. Let's see what the hell this is. Well, nothing's going anywhere. Okay, we'll do one more to see what happens. Yep, there we go. Firefox can't establish a connection. That usually means that the certain ISP. Well, there we go. See, there you go. It was just delayed. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to uh, restart. And what can you say? When you have updated security programs like this, good programs, two of which are free, um, if you just use Komodo with Avast, you'll have better protection than probably three quarters of uh, web browsers. And if you want to add malware bytes onto it for 20 bucks for life, I, I, that's the only program I would recommend paying for is Malware Bytes Pro version. It, it is worth it. it. It has saved my bacon many times. You know, doing, doing tests like this and just testing out security software, it usually rises to the occasion. So there you go. Thanks for watching.